Kuang, you can see, I want to play and I want you to listen to this voice. Listen to this voice very well. This is the voice of a military man speaking, saying something. That this time the military, they are not going to say anything. They are going to, because they, they, they are suffering also. They are suffering. The suffering is too much. You're not paying them well. They cannot even afford to eat. I want you to listen to them. Thank you. Watch this. <laughs> My brother, good morning. Please, um, I'm going to make this message as uh, brief as possible. It's concerning this uh, 29th, uh, July 29th protest that is coming up. I, you know the work I do. I'm a military man, okay. And I'm just sharing this. I'm just sharing this to you because you're my friend at least right from time, okay. Um, you see this protest that is coming up. I want you to know that majority of we the military i'm posting i'm sending you this message with regards the the status you posted that the military should stay away and all of that my brother majority of us in the military in this nigerian military both police army navy air force in fact all the paramilitaries we are suddenly suddenly uh, solidly behind this protest you know why because the hardship is even affecting all of us you understand me so it is insane for any military man to be ordered to kill innocent prote uh, protesters you understand me please i want you you know me very well i can never take such order even as a military man i can never i can never ever take such order i should go and give when don't i have civilians as, as family when my family members are civilians eh? i should go and kill them or if another military man kill my family members where they are you understand me so please, I don't know how you're going to send this message to WhatsApp group. Miss every, you know, we as military, we, we, we cannot partake in any protest because Cap A20 covers us. That is our constitution. Cap A20, it covers us. We cannot partake in any protests. You understand me? So if you are protesting and you see any military guy, please, any military man with gun, please, I beg of you, it is not to harm innocent protesters. Although, our youth, they allow the governments, these bad governments, to use us in hijacking the protest, start fight, unnecessary fight anyway. Please, I beg of you, if you tell your people, tell all the civilians that are coming out for this protest, nobody should come with anything like weapon, no knife, no no st no uh, stick, no gun. I know a lot of civilians now like this now they get their personal weapon. Please, no weapon of any kind. You know why? Because even as a military man, like me now. On that very day, we will be posted, deployed out for peace. Nobody can order me like this to kill anybody. We have to, we have to maintain peace and stability of that protest. Now, while we are there, we see one or two crazy people who call themselves protesters coming. If you see, if you they go and you see somebody coming towards you with a, a what is it called, a stick? Do you know that stick can kill somebody? There is a place that will hit you with one, just one hit with a stick, and you are gone, brother. You will not be alive again to fire that your gun. That's right. You understand me? So you will not say because I'm carrying a stick, I will go with anger close to a military man to attack him, and he will not fire me because I am carrying a stick. No, my brother. He himself wants to stay alive for his family too. But please, if everybody comes out with black card, right? This government is bad, brother. We know. We know. You know I cannot post this voice note I am sending to you. I cannot post. But you, as a civilian, you can send it to any group you like you understand me please tell them no but let us come out the military i know in this country uh, in this country we, we a lot of people hate the military so much see let me tell you in every organization there are bad eggs yeah, even in religious gatherings there are bad heads in organ any organization there are bad civil organization public places anywhere there are bad eggs even in the police that you think uh, police is the most corrupt organization you never see anything there are bad eggs and they are still good people they are still good people, my brother. Even among the civilians, among the youths. Okay, who will the government, with all those politicians, who will they use to hijack the protest? Is it not the youths? Those are the bad eggs. You understand me? So I am not here to defend any military. It is my organization. But what I'm telling you, bros, we still have good people. There is no way protesters will come out peacefully and protest against this bad government of the day and any sane military. We'll go out. They don't ponder military man in the mat.
you know you can never even now your colleagues go deal with you you understand me so please my brother forward this message as quick as possible i had to take my time to send this message to you send it to any group 